Do you ever wonder what a Gen X thinks? Welcome to Gen X Slices. All right, now, uh, so for this first story, boys and girls, I need to tell you, uh, I was working at, at, I had a shop for a long time, and I was outside one mid-morning, probably 10 o'clock, and I was, I remember cleaning up the front yard, it was a little bit of grass and some stuff out there, and I was cleaning some stuff up, and there were some girls walking down the street, uh, pushing their kids in shopping carts. I didn't say it was a great neighborhood, and... Um, they were, I could hear them talking. The street was pretty quiet. It's a side street. It was pretty quiet, and I could hear them talking for quite a ways. So I got the bulk of their conversation. But what it came down to was apparently there was some change in the, in the system, in the welfare system, and they were talking about, I'm going to get pregnant again. I get another $400 a month if I get pregnant. And the other girl says, yeah, that's what I heard too. I'm going to go get another baby right now. I'm going to get pregnant. I'm going to get another kid. I get $400 more a month in money. And I'm sure they get increase in food stamps and everything else. But that was their motivation for the pregnancy. They wanted more money from the state, from the county. Um, it's, that's, that's been, uh, that's been, that story is years old. Okay, years and years and years old. But it got brought back up to me today uh, when I was reading some stuff online. I was kind of going through some things. And it, it's, it got sparked a few things in my head. Um, trying, not to, trying to get these in order, but I'm going to fumble it. I'm going to fumble this. I'm going to fuck it all up. Um, first of all, it seems like there is a certain segment of the population, and I would say 90 percent of the left agrees with this that they know every system they know every every angle they know what their rights are i have the right to money i have the right to food free free money free food uh lowered rent so pay part of my rent i want my obama phone they know every one of their rights as an American city with, this, with the state and the county they live. They know exactly how to work the system. They wake up. If there's changes in angles, they get all of it. They understand it. And you can tell, you can tell when you watch the show Cops, when you watch anything out there and there's protesters and there's, there's clashes, what do they say? I know my rights. I know what my right is. You can't do this to me. You can't say. You can't stop me. And you're going to call me by a pronoun. And they know their rights. Would we all agree that that's pretty evident that they know their rights? They know what they deserve. They know what they can get. Okay. What about their responsibilities? I actually had to go digging, and I don't have the video link to show you. I should have probably had that. Um, but somebody finally went out and did that. And I guess it was a while ago. So I'm glad I'm not the first one to be thinking about this. Probably way smarter people thought about it way before I'm, I'm tagging along late, but that's okay. Um, somebody went out and said, you know, what are your rights? What do you, and they said, oh, you just go down to the welfare office and you can get this, you get, they have to give it to you. They have to give it to you. They can't deny you. You're going to get it. And they tell you. All their rights, what I get, what I can have, where I can stand, I can be on this curb, I can stand here, I can say what I want, these are the things I can say, these are the things that I can make you do and make you say, these are my rights. And the person said, okay, do you know what your responsibilities are? And literally, these people looked at him like, what? Well, you, you have rights and responsibilities, right? Right. No, what are you talking about? Well, are the, you think these are state rights or county rights, or are they just American rights? This is filmed in America. That's why I bring it up. And then, Well, yeah, it's, those are my rights. What are your responsibilities? Do you, do you have any responsibilities as an American, as a citizen of this state, of this county, of this country? And there wasn't one person who knew what the fuck they were talking about. So they got pressed. Say, well, let's just back up. Um, you're, you're living on welfare. You're living off the state. Do you think it's right to have a child? I can have a child if I want to. I can have a child if I want. I have the right to have children. I have as many children as I want. And you don't 
think that's a, is a conflict there because there's other people paying. I, I have the right. All right. And of all your children, do you, does, is, the, is the father involved? And then you got a whole big story on that. Okay. You have the right to have a child, but don't you have the responsibility to stick around and raise it? Because some of these were men. Some of them said that. I'll have as many children as I want. Okay. You have the right to have a child. Please explain to me what your responsibility is in raising that child, in being there for that child, in providing for that child. I'll have to do shit. I'll fucking leave if I want to. I'll just go. So you have the right to have a child, but not the responsibility of raising it. Do you see where we're going? Do you, do you, do you comprehend that there are rights and responsibilities? Just like some of them out there were saying, well, I have the right, I have the right to, a, to a living wage. I have a right to work at McDonald's and sweep up trash, and I have a right to a living wage. All right? What's your responsibility then? What? I said, if we agree that you have a right to this job and a right uh, to, to this wage, what, what then is your responsibility? See, responsibility and, and rights and responsibility, they're on, a, they're on a teeter-totter. You can't have one without the other. If you have the right to choose something, to do something, to enact, to, you have the right to, to you're, you're not obligated, you can do something, you have the right to do something or to not do something. On the other side, you also have the responsibility that goes with that right. There's, there's only something in there. Even if it's, I get a free Obama phone from the state. All right, what are you going to do for the state? What? It, 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 at its very simplest math, if the people of the state are going to give you an Obama phone, they're going to give you money, what are you going to give back? Are you going to work for that? Can you, can you give up 10 hours a week to do some stuff to help give back? No. I ain't doing that shit. Fuck that. Back to the living wage. So you're going to get a job. We're going to talk about this. If we agree to give you a living wage, if we agree that's your right, you're going to go sweep trash at McDonald's and you're going to get a bunch of money, get a living wage, what are your responsibilities? Can we get you to show up on time? No, I, I'll get there when I get there. You can't fire me because you can't fire me. I'm a minority. You can't fire me. You can't fire me because I'm part of a movement, because I'm part of, I'm, I'm part of, a, I'm part of a minority uh, congregation of people. I believe in saving the blue whale. And if you, if you fire me, then you don't like blue whales. I got a patch, blue whale. I stand on the side of the road, save the blue whales. Clearly, if you fire me, then you don't like blue whales. Can't do that. Well, how about if we get you to work hard while you're there? Show up on time, work hard, do the job. If you want the right of these things and this money, don't you have the responsibility to show up on time, work your entire shift, learn your job and do it correctly? Are you guys getting where I'm going with this? Tens of thousands of people have no fucking clue. They just think that there's rights. They got the right. I have the right to all these things. I have the right to free speech. What responsibility goes along with that? None. None? No free speech? Nope. I can say what I want. Okay. So then when someone comes up and doesn't use a pronoun or says something that offends you, we're good, right? Because there's no rules that go along with, well, no, no, they, they have the responsibility of not offending me. Oh, so, so free speech does come with some response. You, you're getting the balance now. Some, some free speech comes with responsibility. Okay, all right. Now we're getting somewhere. So when you have the right of free speech, what are you allowed to not say? What, what's your responsibility? I'll say whatever the fuck I want. And we're back to square one. And when you go down this road of thought, politicians on one side of the aisle will squash you down. And you could say, but don't you see what's going on over here? They're, they're very fucking hypocritical. And uh, the left will tell you, shh, it's okay. Shh, so what? Shh. 
social media platforms like this one will realize that I'm just observing. I'm just talking about what's out my front door. I, I've witnessed it myself. I started with that story. And they'll pull the plug. Going, yeah, can't have that happen. Really? What are you censoring me for now? Free speech? Common sense? History? Things that I've observed? And you're out. You're done. I think the point that I wanted to make, the thing that I wanted to try to bring up to you guys tonight, and I'll get back to the comments in a, mi in a minute, but the rights, it, it, at its very basic level, the rights and responsibilities go hand in hand. There's many levels and there's, there's, over, there's architecture that covers a lot of things above that. But at the, at the simplest Main Street America, looking out my front door, nuts and bolts, dumb mechanic in the middle of the desert. I have to ask myself, do these people that I've, I've, I've witnessed myself, these people that I've watched now on now that I've been seeking out these rights and responsibilities things to try to see how late I am to the party on this issue, it was irritating me personally, so I went and did a little homework. Do they not get it or do they not care? It's one or the other because none of them want to change. None of them that I ran into personally, none of them that I was watching online, just people going out with microphones and putting in their faces and trying to get some answers. Nobody was, let, not one person in my personal life, not one person online said, oh my God, I, I've been fucking this up the whole time. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> don't I feel like a horse's patootie? Not one of them. The light, the light bulb never went on in one of them. No one had to come to Jesus moment and go, you know what? God damn, you're right. Is it responsibility and rights? And I just been thinking about what my rights are, what I can get. I, I never thought that I should be, I'd have a responsibility to do or to give back or to comply. I just figured that I was just looking for my next right. Not one person. I'm quite certain some of you no people that do this. I will say at the moment, I don't know anybody specifically that, I won't say specific, I don't know anybody at the moment by name, but I bet there's some of you that do. I bet there's some of you shaking your head right now going, eh, motherfucker, you know. <laughs> I'm probably causing you to cuss him out. You're probably thinking, my goddamn redneck, hillbilly, backwood, inbred, Jed did, back holler in Kentucky, still smoking. <laughs> There's probably somebody going sideways on the issue. Didn't mean to get you upset. But even my blood pressure's up talking about it. And that's just one of the concepts that escapes kids now. And I mean millennials all the way down to Gen Z. Back in the day, do you, do you guys remember when it was, if someone gave you a meal, your first thought was, what can I, what can I do for you? Can I, can I sweep the floors? Can I, can I, what can I do for you? Can I wash your car? If you're giving me a meal, if you're doing something, can I, can I repay? It was the first thought. It was the first thought to come like, God, I shouldn't be getting this for free. I don't deserve this. Um, is there anything I can do to, to, to square up with you here? Can I, can I give something back? If you offered someone something for free, they would snatch it out of your hand, give you that look, and keep right on walking, and probably call you a sucker that you're stupid for being generous. I'm just saying, um, that's, uh, I don't know, that was in my mind. I know I kind of spun around it in a weird direction to get there from here, but it, I tried to get a, a pretty good groove going where I could explain it without fumbling it too bad. The story in the beginning that I had a personal experience with and then kind of through society and bringing it, wrapping it around to didn't used to be that way. People just didn't think that way, and now they think that way. When someone comes up to me and says, Oh, and, and this hasn't happened yet, being clear. Someone comes up and says, hey, I saw what you're talking about over there, uh, and I... I have a lot of rights and I get a lot of stuff. And uh, so you think people in the old days were, are, were better than me? Uh, yeah, by a fucking huge margin. 
You're nothing compared to them. You want to compare? Go to the greatest generation. Compare yourselves to them. You're nothing. If that's all you think about is what can you get, what can you take, what can you find for free, and you don't even have the fucking common sense to understand what that there might be maybe some responsibility on the other side of that equation yes i will judge you and compare you against people from 50 years ago that had a completely different mindset yes i will oh don't worry don't worry right about now there's some super genius going, oh, so 50 years ago, you like that segregation. Colored people have to drink out of separate fountains. Oh, you like that women can't vote. That's the kind of thing. Why do they always do that? Why do they always pick a, 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 a dark part of a decade that's been corrected, by the way? And anytime you say, you know what, people back in 1950 were better than you because they, they felt obligated to repay you when you gave them something for free, there's nowhere to go with that. They were racist back then. Oh, fuck, really? Another, another intellectual dipshit, that's the only argument you've got? Every single time. You could do that with any decade. You could find the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, any decade. You can find something that was not right, that was fucked up in America. And anytime you're losing the argument, anytime you're losing the point, throw it out there. And according to you, there's never been a good decade. Every decade's been fucked up. How convenient. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, I got to get back to here. I'm just, I'm running my fucking mouth and... I got way. I didn't get off topic, but I went a little longer. I was trying to talk about some stuff here, and then I fucked up. Uh, let me go over to the comment section and see if there's any hate mail. I love hate mail. I'm sure there's some hate mail waiting for me. 